So let's talk about the Intel's 8 processor launched in 2014 in September 9th on a grand event. It basically it first uh, appeared in uh, in Apple's A6, iPhone 6 and iPhone 6 Plus, both of them, and it was announced on September 9th by Tim Cook. And we'll take a quick look and its comparison with uh, Apple's previous uh, A7 processor. So basically, we there is 25% better CPU performance compared with A7, and that is what Apple claims it. You can expect the approximate uh, figure to be between 20% to 25%, and that is something we will cover. Um, in comparison and in benchmark, but we can for now uh, take the figures as quoted by Apple. Now, Apple also they says that it's there's a 50% improvement in the graphics. Now, this 50% improvement can be eaten up by increase in in the resolution of the graphics. So, 50% performance improvement does not uh, really change the things much but you can still find some gaming things running a little bit smoother the big thing is the reduction in the power consumption in a7 it draws only 50 percent of the power compared to a7 and that is a big thing you are going to see a better battery life and that's very especially important in case of ipads and so on uh, looking at other uh, uh, other uh, specifications uh, let's see uh, let's target it it's manufactured by 20 nanometer process and for the first time uh, it's Intel uh, in Apple has done away with Samsung and it's going with TSMC and that's so it's a change is complete of where Intel did, uh, Apple did not want to work with Samsung anymore we have 2 billion transistors up from 1 billion used in uh, A7 and that's where the performance improvement comes with. Now uh, the physical size has been reduced by 13% to, to 89 mm that's mainly possible with the improvement in the process. Now Apple has a uh, RAM included right on the chip which is which is a different from what you see in other uh, arm based processor used by uh, uh, android phones because apple here takes the advantage of in this integration what we, we are not sure about its uh, clock frequency now but the initial <coughs> results suggest that it's a dual core and has a clock frequency of 1.4 gigahertz so in in nutshell what the the key thing is that it's a reduction in power and slight improvement in cpu and somewhat improvement in the graphics that's what we get with the newer uh, a8 processor now in terms of the actual change in the 8 we also have a bigger phones and other features that comes with the ping the capability of 8 but that's what it is about the processor itself hope you find it helpful thanks for taking a look